Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So more stringing, guys. Uh, today, I finally got one of these to string. It is a Prince 03 Speed Port Blue. Okay? So, actually, a few people asked me to string this racket because it's actually pretty... It's kind of complicated, a uh, little difficult. You just kind of have to understand what to do. Uh, when these rackets first came out, I don't know, like 15 years ago, uh, I know I jacked one up. Uh, and then ev everybody that that I worked with jack at, jacked at least one of these up before they figured out, oh, that's not the way to do it. So um, the way they designed this racket is not very user friendly to the stringer. So um, you kind of have to pay attention uh, and do it once or twice and probably have to jack one up to know what you're doing wrong. Um, hopefully not, but I mean, there's not a single stringer that I know that didn't jack this up at least once. So we're gonna string this racket today and I'm gonna show you uh, the hacks and how to do it the correct way. All right, let's get started in a minute. Here's the thing about this racket. There is a short side and a long side, okay? So we're gonna be doing this racket with one piece of string. So you need to know what the short side is, right? It'll say right here on this one, short side, okay? So this is where the sh the mains will the mains will end and then the rest of the mains will be over here along with the cross okay long side of the string short side of the string usually i would have the p going upwards like that right but this time i'm going to make an exception for myself because so it doesn't screw me up and make it go faster right so with the p up the short sides that way i would like the short side at me so I'm turning it over and having a short side face me. And then I'm gonna mount it. You'll, I'll show you why I do this in a minute here. So we got the Gamma TNT Yellow 16 here. Tension is set to 58, okay. So all these rackets go that way, okay? Both strings have to go towards the handle. None of them go this way, okay? None of them. Even the older versions that look like they could go this way, don't go this way, all right? I know it throws you off when this last main that comes up goes up this way, okay? Or, or it doesn't look like it exists almost, but that last string has to come up this way, okay? So it all goes that way, like so. Okay? All right, so I ran the long side through and I want the short side on my side, like, right? So they all go like this. Okay, so look, right, like that, each side of the post, okay? Make sure you mount it nice and straight and lined up, okay? Everything's lined up nice and tight. We don't want to warp this racket, okay? So we know that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on one side, eight on the other. So it's 16 mains, okay? 16 mains. So I need to count eight on this side. One there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got a little too much. Give it a yank. Two, because that's one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we just kind of barely want enough strings because this string will actually stretch. Okay, let's get going. So I'm just gonna string this fast because 
I just need to stream this fast. All right, so like this, I'm gonna go straight for the head. No Diablo today. Okay. So that's what this is that's why I'm doing it towards me first, because I want to work on this side, right? On my side first. So I can kind of get it out of the way and then work on the other side. Knowing that I have the rest of the racket to do. The dot will tell you, or it'll tell you, the dot, see the dot there and the dot there? That tells you that it's a main, okay? So that's why it's, that string's going in there and it will go in there. That tells you it's a main. Same with, is this same up there? There's a dot right there, okay? So here, I never yank this last cross because that's too, that's the last main because there's too much pressure on the racket to do that. So I leave that hanging out. So this is the mysterious main usually right there that people sometimes forget about. That's why they think that it goes upwards. But yeah, we gotta come around that and come up this way, okay? So there's actually eight holes there. That's four sets of two. Okay, we check, everything's straight. Skip the right holes on both sides. Yes, we did, okay. So instead of tying this right now, I'm gonna run the first crossover so I don't have that other one in the way. So 
I don't have that tie in the way, tie string in the way, right? I'm actually gonna do two of them. The first two crosses, right? Leave my little loop here to pull. So now I'm gonna take my tie, my short side string and tie it off now. So right there is my thing, right? My tie off hole, right? I do that. I take whatever I have to yank it with. Okay, towards me, way out. So that was hack number one, or two, or three, I don't know, whatever. Hack number, a hack right there, all right? Don't, don't put that short side tie off in, right? Because it'll be in the way of your first two crosses. String those first, double back for the knot, and then put it in so it won't be in your way, okay? If you follow the short side, then you'll be right. If you do the wrong side, um, I think the prints didn't do a very good job of marking short side before, uh, before these rackets. So uh, everybody kind of screwed that up. And if you screwed it up and went to the wrong side, uh, if you have enough string, you could just finish off the main and then use the rest and do a two-piece. If you know what that means. You know what that means? If So I would tie off this side, tie off the other side, cut off what I had left, start it from the top and go top down. Is what I would do. If you, you know, started it, if, the, if your short side was on the non-short side, it would be on the other side. So if you if you ended here on the short side, uh, it wouldn't work for this racket. So you would have to cut it and take the other half uh, and do a two-piece string job on that one. Here's where we get into the big holes. Okay, so here we go. See how that goes in to that, right? What you do is you move it, all right? You move it till it straightens out, okay? Okay, that's hack, okay? Again, we move it, we move it 
so it straightens out. For those of you who don't have a electric machine constant pull, uh, you hold the racket in and then you pull the tension. I'll show you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it straight, right? Get it to your thing and then just hold it there like that, right? So, and then yank, okay? So hold it and then yank. That'll make a more consistent tension on there. I'll do it on the next one too. So hold it like with your body and then yank, All right? So the constant pull and the drop weights, just hold it straight, line it up, and then put it in the machine. I know they gave you that tool, right? That tool is a tool, so uh, it's useless. I actually didn't use it and I threw most of it away. I threw all of them away. look there so I just straighten it out or like I said just line it up to straighten it out and then pull tension so you don't lose tension only like maybe five six holes that you got to worry about it the rest of them are pretty pretty okay you don't need to stress too much over it i don't really see too many of these rackets out there anymore so uh, just in case you guys get one uh, hopefully this helps going to be a maybe another hack on the bottom here that I can do for you yes right here so check it out the last the last string actually goes here to here right we lose a ton of tension there if I were to do it the standard way um, because it'll be like turned around so this is my hack okay instead of going in this hole I'm going to go to the bottom hole, right? And I'm going to string this like that one. So I want to match this one up because it'll be the opposite on this one. So what I'm going to do is this is under right here. And I'm going to go under there. Over, under, over, under, under, over, over, under, through to the other side. Right? So that matches that one. Okay? Because this middle one's going to be the opposite of both of these. Right? So check it out. I'm gonna pull tension. Actually, I'm not gonna pull tension. I'm gonna just, actually, yeah, I'll pull tension. So check it out. Like if I were to do that, it goes like that, right? We don't want that because it wants to, it needs to be up there, okay? So I need to do this, get it to the head. 
see that's 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 not gonna even work so check it out so I'm gonna go in here do the opposite of both Right, so I got like this now. I'm gonna pull tension here, like regular. Tension, I let go of, so look, it's right, it's straightened out by itself now. It's got extra tension because I dragged it up five pounds. Okay, so now I clamp there, right? So I got good tension here without losing too much, right? And then, see that's pretty tight. Okay, everything's pretty tight. So now I'm just gonna tie off. So it's gonna get tied off right there. There it is. Everything's pretty straight. Straight as it can be, I guess. Just straighten it out maybe a little bit. All right, so that's how to string these princes with a with the big holes, the speed ports, O3s, um, all of those. They're pretty much done this way. There are some princes that you actually have to string with two strings you do have to cut those so um, check those before you string them okay uh, probably the safer way would have been to do it two pieces on all of them uh, but but check it out if you could do it this way do it this way uh, if not cut it in half and do it with two pieces of string okay thanks for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis